Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cozy Chair. I have had so much fun making this tree with you and I have a few more comments. Before Thanksgiving, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Are you excited? I'm so excited for Thanksgiving, I love it. So, Benz is thankful for trees and Max is thankful for popcorn. Do you guys like popcorn? I am thankful for fathers. We didn't get to put that one on the tree yet. Dade is thankful for family. Oh, Tanner is grateful for soccer. And Grant is grateful for kisses. Thank you so much for your comments. I have a few more for tomorrow and then we will be done with our thankful tree. So today I have a fun win a fall book for Sophia. Hi Sophia, I hope you like this book. Sometimes, do people call you Sophie? I don't know if they do or not, but today I have a book called Sophie's Squash. And I thought it would be fun to read this book because tomorrow maybe some of you will be having squash with your Thanksgiving feast. This is Sophia's Squash by Pat Zietlow Miller and Anne Wilsdorf. And this is published, published by Schwartz and Wade Books. Okay. They're going to the farmer's market. Have you ever been to the farmer's market? It is so fun. One bright fall day, Sophie chose a squash at the farmer's market. It looked just like this. Do you see? She found a squash that looked just like this at the farmer's market. Her parents planned to serve it for supper, but Sophie had other ideas. It was just the right size to hold in her arms. Just the right size to bounce on her knee. Just the right size to love. I'm glad we met, Sophie whispered. Good friends are hard to find. At home, Sophie used markers to give her squash a face. Then she wrapped it in a blanket and rocked it to sleep. Oh my goodness, that silly Sophie. She has turned that squash into a baby. When it was time to make supper, Sophie's mother looked at the squash. She looked at Sophie. I call her Bernice, <laughs> Sophie said. I'll call for a pizza, said her, said her mother. After that, Bernice went everywhere with Sophie, to the story time at the library, to visit other squash at the farmer's market, to practice somersaults by the garden. She sure loves her squash, doesn't she? Every night, Sophie gave Bernice a bottle, a hug, and a kiss. Well, we did hope she'd love vegetables, Sophie's mother told her father. Shh, Sophie said. Bernice is sleeping. Sweet pea, Sophie's mother said. Sophie's mother said one morning as they made blueberry waffles. Bernice is a squash, not a friend. If we don't eat her soon, she'll get mushy and gross. Let's bake her with marshmallows. Won't that taste yummy? Squash with marshmallows? Sometimes on Thanksgiving, I eat sweet potatoes with marshmallows on top. What about you? What do you like to eat for Thanksgiving? Don't listen, Bernice, Sophie cried. That afternoon, Sophie's father took her shopping. Sugar beet, he said. Bernice is a squash. Why don't you pick a nice toy to play with instead? But the trucks were too hard and the dolls were too soft. Sophie clutched Bernice tightly. No thanks, she said. I have everything I need. She does not want to get rid of her squash, does she? After supper, Sophie's parents called a family meeting. Bernice napped in Sophie's lap. Why don't we donate so Bernice to the food pantry before she rots, her father suggested. Sophie shook her head. Bernice will last forever. Bernice seems a little blotchy, said Sophie's dad on the way to the library one day. She looks perfect to me, Sophie replied. At story time, some kids pointed and stared. What's that spotty thing? A boy asked. Her name is Bernice, and she's a squash, Sophie said, with freckles. <laughs> Maybe Bernice should stay home next time, Sophie's mom suggested. Why, Sophie asked. She wasn't the one being rude. Can you see the squash? Bernice is getting a little rotten. Oh, no. Still, it went... Still, as winter neared, Sophie noticed changes. Bernice seemed softer, and somersaults lacked their usual style. Visiting friends will cheer you up, Sophie said. At the farmer's market, squash were everywhere, firm, shiny squash. 
What keeps a squash healthy? Sophie asked a farmer. It's simple, really, he said. Fresh air, good clean dirt, a little love. Well, Sophie thought, I have all that. At home, Sophie cleared leaves from Bernice's favorite spot. She made a bed of soft soil, tucked Bernice in, and kissed her goodnight. Get better soon, she whispered. She's burying Bernice in the ground. That night, while Sophie slept, the wind whistled and tiny snowflakes fell. When she awoke, the world was covered in white. Do you think Bernice is cold out there? Sophie asked her mother. I'm sure she's warm and cozy under her snow blanket, her mother replied. Sophie gazed out the window all morning. She was still there in the afternoon when her father came home with a surprise. You need a new friend, he said. Meet Ace. Ace was nice, but boring. He just swam around and around in a bowl. But during the long winter, Sophie discovered that Ace was a superb silent reader who did fabulous flip turns. And he always listened politely when she talked about Bernice. Bernice was great at keeping secrets. When the snow finally melted, Sophie rushed out to the garden. The only thing there was was a small green sprout. It looked strangely familiar. Bernice, Sophie said, how was your winter? After that, Sophie, Ace, and Bernice ate lunch together every day. One bright summer morning, Sophie somersaulted across her yard, landed by the garden, and stared in disbelief. What do you think is growing there? Bernice had grown two tiny squash. Wow, Sophie told them, you look just like your mom. Soon, Bernice and Baxter were, oh, no. Soon, Bonnie and Baxter were just the right size for Sophie to hold in her arms and bounce on her knee. Just the right size to love. Can you believe that? That one squash, when she planted it back in the ground, the next year she had two. Isn't that silly? Well, I hope that you enjoyed that book, Sophie Squash. And I hope to see you tomorrow on Thanksgiving. I hope that you have a fabulous Thanksgiving and you have lots of fun time with your family and your friends. Goodbye.